Here's the lighting tutorial to turn this into this in only three steps. Now, cue the intro. Every time I'm in the street, I hear. Hi, hello, welcome. This is Glowy Angel. Welcome to another tutorial. Um, I am really tired and I'm really sick, so I won't be doing much of a voiceover, but here is the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy. Now, with the setting over here, I realized that the settings can be quite overwhelming, so instead of taking you through the whole thing, I just screenshotted the settings that I recommend that you should do. However, I do also recommend that you play around with it so it suits your liking. Yeah, liking. Now, the sun area on this tutorial is to show where the lighting will be. You can see it here, just move it around, move it around. So you don't actually need to do much of the work for the lighting, you can just do what you like here. So the most important part now is the highlight and the environment colour. So you can see the highlight here is basically the more brighter part and the environment colour is basically the shadows. I, I think that's the best way to explain it. Next, create a new layer, set the blending mode to colour burn, put on alpha lock. This will make sure that the colours only stay inside of the art itself instead of going onto the entire canvas. And you're going to want to pick the same colour as your environment colour. It's going to be really strong so put the opacity down. Now for the overlay, you want to pick a colour that's the opposite of your main artwork colour. I don't know how to explain it. So here you see that the colouring is quite cold with blues and purples. So for the overlay, I picked a warmer colour of orange and red. Here's the colour wheel if you want to know what the opposite of your colour is. So now what I like to do is add some white highlights on a new layer just for it to, you know, go pop, pop, bang, bang, flash. Now to make it glow, just make a new layer, set the blending mode to add, then pick an airbrush and just lightly go over the highlights and obviously put the opacity down if it's too harsh. And for the finishing touch, to make it seem mystical and magical, get the blurring tool, blur any parts, just wherever you want the focus point to be, don't blur that area. Next, do some of the magical stuff that I did here, go abracadabra.
and boom we are done and that's how you do lighting in just a few steps that i forgot to count thank you so much for watching this tutorial you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any suggestions don't forget to comment and i'll do my best to get to you love you guys bye bye Mwah. oh and don't forget to join the discord server